What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So in today's video we have another Wrath of the Lich King pre-patch gold farm and I've done a lot of these lately and uh, we can't really talk about the uh, Wrath of the Lich King especially on pre-patch uh, companion farming without talking about the uh, Hyacinth Macaw. It's impossible to pronounce its name right but before we go into the details I want to say a massive thank you. You guys have been insane. The support on the complete gold guide for Wrath of Lich King has been truly insane. So big thank you to everyone that has picked it up and all the super positive feedback on it. So we're still doing the sale where you can get the complete gold guide and all future updates for only $9.90. This is going to last until Wrath is released. So uh, hurry up and get them uh, while they're still heavily discounted. So if you're interested in that because you're going to play Wrath of Lich King, you can find it linked down below in the description and pinned comments. So the item that we're uh, referring to is uh, it's, it's a companion. I usually say battle pet, pets because I'm so used to retail, but it's a companion. And it's uh, this bad boy right here. It's the only, currently, the only epic companion that you can get. And this bad boy right here is very expensive. Like these are the prices of my realm. There's currently five of them up on the auction house, ranging anywhere from 2.6k to 2.9k gold. So even if it takes you like five hours to get this pet, you're still making 500 gold an hour, right? Even if it takes you 10 hours, you're still making 260 gold an hour in just the, uh, the parrot. That's not counting any other items that you might get while doing the farm. Uh, but this bad boy right here, can draw from like all the blood sale mobs in STV. Every single blood sale mobs. This is later a change to uh, the parrot being a zone drop, meaning that I can drop from every single mob in STV. But right now, it only drops off blood sale mobs. And I'm going to show you two good pictures to see where exactly they're located. So you have um, this picture right here. You can see him like going on this path right here. Uh, that's specifically the Blood Sailor Raiders, Raiders, but there's also different Blood Sailor mobs in this path. And then you have uh, these locations right here. So you have all along this uh, this shore and the boats out in the sea right here. But you also have this little location right here, which I'm located at right now. And the reason why I'm here is because there's usually a bunch of people questing in this area. Because there's a lot of quests down here. It's closest to Booty Bay. But this location rarely has any competition whatsoever. So you're usually all by yourself here. I'm playing on a on a fully populated realm. It's a PvE realm though. So it's not one of those uh, big boy PvP realms with a 5 hour queue on it. But there's still a decent amount of people uh, that place on this realm. And um, there is sometimes people here. Like by all means. It's not always empty. But usually compared to the other locations. This spot is very empty. Uh, when it comes to other items, you can get some other blue green items that you can sell that can net you a decent profit. Uh, besides from that, you get the uh, STV pages, which is highly underrated. They vendor for like three silver each, but the average price on one is probably like 30 cents each, and you, you get a shit ton of them. So uh, I've made some decent gold um, ever since Classic came out, really selling uh the pages so keep that in mind it really depends on your situation though if you already have an, an okay amount of gold you might not want to mess about with the uh, uh with the pages but regardless i think it's a very interesting farm to do right now especially now when uh there's a lot of competition on a lot of different farms going for something like this if you're patient enough by all means i mean you can't expect to go on for three hours of farming this and expect to get the parrot uh, like some of the other battle pet videos that I've done, people have killed 10 mobs and received a 2,000 gold battle pet. And then there's been people that have been doing it for 4 hours and they haven't received shit, right? Like that's the name of the game. That's how RNG works. So just keep that in mind. If you know for a fact that you're not the type of person that could farm something like this for hours, then th there's no point in even starting, right? Because it's RNG and you shouldn't expect to get the battle pet in 1 hour. That's just... Not how it works. That, however, was it for today's video. So good luck on getting the battle pet. And if you want to see more videos like this one, just make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel 
And that way you'll be notified whenever I upload a video like this one so you don't miss out and you don't fall behind the herd because you want to watch these videos as soon as they're released. That's it for today though. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all back in at tomorrow's video. Until then, bye bye.